Hello, everybody. Welcome to Ground Zero. It is me, Abhachi. Okay, now you know who I am. Basically, um, today's episode of Ground Zero is going to be a short episode because we barely got any news today. So we're going to start talk about the news. First of all, before we can start talking about the news, let me talk about CR Fire Pro Row Big Event. Oh my god, I was watching it, and holy shit, it blew my mind. Not because they're in ring action, it's because what the frick is happening? Okay, let me start over. Because of what happened during the show. What happened during the show is just what the f- absolute fuck. Like... The, like, the first match kicked off, right? Like, the match kicked off. Everything was all right. Then all of a sudden, choke out, referee stoppage. Holy shit. Critical. Oh, my God. That was the first critical or the first referee stoppage, you want to call it, during a one-minute match. The match only lasted one freaking minute. And, oh, my God. It was just... That's not the end of it. That's not the end of the that's not the, that's not the end of the referee stoppage. Another one. The second match. It was a really good match, going back and forth, triple threat match, you know, it was it elimination. The yellow honeybee got like eliminated, then all of a sudden we got the motherfucking um Then we got two motherfuckers that need momentum. Well, one already got momentum going from the um, CR Fire Pro TV big event. And then we got one that lost lost in the Fire Pro, the CR Fire Pro TV big event. So, so you might think the champion might win this match. Yeet! She got knee, she got kicked in the fucking knee in the trio woe and got knocked the fuck out. The referee had to stop the match, bruh. I was like, what the hell? Is this going to be another one? But then I realized, yes, this is CR Road, my guy. This is CR Road. Of course, some shit like this is going to happen on CR5 Pro Road. And then after that, we got the Blueberry Muffin taking on against Death himself. And basically, the Blueberry Muffin beat Death. I mean, I'm I'm not trying to offend anybody, but I'm just saying it how I see it. Trio Mass is a fucking god. She is a god. Holy like god. They had a brute contest, my guy. Pretty good contest. And then all of a sudden, the next match, well, first of all, the Blueberry won the match. Then then the next match, Cold, the most scariest tag team of them all. Taking on against the tag team champions of, I think one of them name is the, yeah, yeah, the Inflector in Harm, the tag team champions of Road. Oh my God, what? It was a really good tag match, to be honest with you. It was a really good tag match, but that by the end of the day, we got two bastards. Well, not bastards because they probably have a father. But mother and daughter duo of Code won the tag team titles back, so now they are dual CR CR Fire Pro tag champs. They hold the TV titles and the road titles. That is scary. But due to my reports, if win is the big thing that they say in all caps in my little notepad, they said when. They lose the TV titles, they might go back to the road and stay on there. I'm terrified because because basically they're going to terrorize the whole road roster and they're going to get bored. They already terrorized every single last tag team division from CR Fire Pro and beyond. So basically, like, hell, even... Even NAW tag champs, they scared. To, they scared to, to take on against Cole, my guy. And motherfucking um, 
whatever other tag teams I know that they like. I showed them a match. I, sh- I showed them a cold match. They never ever called me back. I'm like what the hell? They they that traumatized. They like they traumatized seeing a cold tag match, my guy. And there's only like a few teams or two teams or a couple teams I I probably think that could actually beat Cold. One of them is Unstable Ruination. Kano and um I think her name is City or Sydney Two Jiggy. Well, th- well, Kano and the Two Jiggy. Unstable Ruination. Hell, even the Fierce Two could probably be the tag champs. But I'm scared they're gonna die in the ring. So let's not put that in the minds, okay? Matter of fact, I need to watch that tournament again. That that tournament was freaking good. It was good lead. It was really good. Yeah. Anyways, that's my whole um spill on um CRO big event. It was good but scary at the same time because I don't I don't like seeing other 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 wrestlers get hurt. The Jesus Christ, this is rope. <laughs> Like this is a road for you. Now let's talk about what we, what's what's going to happen in the Ground Zero podcast. We are going to have the Rhino report in the podcast. Well, we're going to talk about the Rhino, the the new extremes wrestling Rhino report in the podcast. We're going to talk about hit their their report. That's their spill of what's going on in the wonderful world of NEW, aka New. We're going to talk about them, and I can't wait to, you know, talk to the person with the Rhino Report, because, you know, they, I mean, I, I, I talked to the person, he's a cool person, he's a cool dude, Reno's a really cool dude, you know, he just needs help with writers, so I'm going to, you know, probably help write some of his stuff, or talk on, on, on the stuff, on this podcast, as long as I don't have a shotgun behind my back of my head, you know, and forced to do it. But, you know, other than that, I I could talk. I could, you know, you know, say the news on this news channel, on this news podcast and all that stuff. Because why not, my guy? Why not? I mean, I could talk about the latest one that I found so far. Refresh my screen. It's the... When was this? I'm trying to find the date. Basically, NAW. They like they they talk about it, NAW Turbo because one of their guys, Sean Stevenson, was featured on the episode. And and to my sources, <clears throat> Sean Stevenson and Brandon Shaw will main event this episode and their feud continue. The spoiler zone. A hesitant start to the match. Neither man wants to give away any leverage. The pace soon began to mount back and forth, would ensure Stevenson eventually was forced to tap out to Sharp. And of course, to my to my news source, they're gonna have a match tomorrow. And that's gonna be the blow off match, probably. I don't know. Because they actually they don't they really they kinda work well together. They kinda do. So I don't know if if, if this is gonna be their blow off match or this might be their um match to you know keep on going till February. We don't know. But but to my sources, um, this feud might continue. From what I was talking to Mal about, Mal didn't give me a straight answer. He just said, "Only time would tell. Time heals all wounds, and time can like bury other you know f- feuds." Whatever he said, I forgot. Speaking of NAW, their show's tomorrow. Their New Year's show's tomorrow, and then February is going to be their um next part of their um season two, probably. I think this is season two. I don't know if they're going by seasons or anything. But one report kind of scares me a lot. T. Vincent was, you know, was training for his match. This happened yesterday. Or today, I don't know, but like T. Vincent was training for his match and he got injured. T. Vincent got injured, and and like Mal was like, 
you, do you want to give up for the, the match? He said, no, I'm going to fight through this. I'm going to fight Thursday. I'm going to win. I'm going to put everything in my body to, to put through this match. So T. Vincent is still going to wrestle J.K.L. in the main event. And hopefully nothing bad or serious happens during the match. So, LWL, Legacy Wrestling League. You know, this fed, I've been looking, I've been talking to Zero and talking to Mr. Green about it, and he gave me a lot of good stuff. Basically, they might have their own channel. This The fed's not going to be on this channel probably on another channel or new channel and they're going to start posting on that channel. So that's going to be cool. They have their own channel, their own content and everything's going to be on there. That is going to be epic. So I can't wait to start this news and review on LWL. So one thing I do want to confirm to everybody is the LWL is going to be taking place in East Coast. The 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 locations will be in, in if I could you know find the damn location, either Arundel County, or Charles County or whatever, it's gonna be in Maryland. For East Coast and Southwest, it's gonna be in Chicago. The next story, WCC stuff. There is going to be a rumor to have a wrestling stable featuring the leader to be Kano. We don't know who's going to be in this stable. Some people already figured it out. Some people already didn't figure it out. But this stable is going to be powerful, and they might end up winning all the championships. Another rumor is that Royal at the Royal Classic, the Kano versus Zach Roper feud might end. Sources tells me that the reason why they're going to end the feud is to start up a new feud. Or, if they continue the feud, it's not just going to be for the championship. It's going to be stable versus stable. We may never know. Next thing I want to talk about is that we, as the wrestling community, would like to, you know, want to give a warm, a warm welcome to the awakening of the fighters fed. It's a Fed run by John Nubai, but the Fed is called Awakening, and they are and they currently have house shows running today, and and on the twentieth of January. Be sure to check them out, and and I will check them out too and give you my thoughts about it. So, my question is. What do you guys want to see in LWL? What do you guys want to see on NAW? Who do you want to see in NAW? Who do you want to see in LWL? Which new exchange wrestling star would you want to see in this league? Or in the other, you know, other other EFEDs, who like who's your favorite EFED wrestler? Who's your favorite EFED show? Well, what's your favorite EFED, EFED show? And everything. I got a lot of questions to ask y'all. And I would love to answer them in the next episode. But, before I go, I want to say that the Tournament of Survivors is looking for four more wrestlers for the hardcore tournament. And apparently rumored that the tournament 
you know, achievement or whoever wins this tournament will be known as the survivor and will get in and will get in a shot either for the zero hardcore championship or I don't know. I don't know if it's called Zero Hardcore Championship or Zero Extreme Championship or ZX Championship, but either either that championship, if that's true, or this is an or a championship at their own choosing, and some money too. You know, because you're the freaking winner, so you deserve some money. But but for real, for real. You get a championship shot at your choosing of your title that you want. But the problem with that is that if they choose a a championship that's not in the zero feder it's not in the zero entertainment, then the thing is, if it's like, for example, if we have a person like one of the confirmed wrestlers, Daniel Leslie, wins the tournament. And he won a shot at the WCC championship. We got to talk to WCC about that. So that he won a tournament and he and he wants that title. But that's just you know something just to think about. And like, I swear. Sometimes when it comes down to these, to this, or these feds, you can't be, you know, ex- you you can be exclusive to your fed, but sometimes working with other feds, you know, collaborating, and trying to do something cool with it, like a joint show, it'd be cool. Speaking of joint shows, Pride, Pride is coming back in twenty twenty. Can we can we can we put that show to happen? Anyways, I gotta go. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to the to the Ground Zero podcast. And I will give you and I will give you guys some more updates on the on a BDE Fed website. And I will see you guys later. I bid you and I do.